All right, guys. Oh my God, you are in for today. So today we have, uh, as you've seen, a ninety percent accuracy game. But not only was it ninety percent, and you're going to get a bit of a bonus for just clicking on the video. It was a ninety percent in bullet. I I completely understand getting it in rapid, where you have your time to think. Blitz, it's a bit harder, but bullet. 90% accuracy in bullet, and not one brilliant move. Well, there is one, but we didn't get it. The opponent got the brilliant move, but with a total of 90% accuracy, we did not get it. But we'll have two games for you, and we're going to start off with the first one. Here we go is the first one. Uh, this is just a simple 60% accuracy, um, but the checkmate at the end is definitely something that I have not seen before. Uh, it, it was it's a very very weird checkmate um, I doubt you would have ever done one yourself and of all the videos I have watched of Gotham I have never seen one like this before anyway we have the black pieces and the time control is 2 minutes with an additional 1 second for each move so game starts off uh very simple opening uh, e4 we go for the caro Khan. nice well and trusted he kind of pushes for the advanced variation and immediately you pin the knight he takes the center we close off our bishop uh you know making up for the light squared uh, weaknesses after we trade off the bishop here computer gives best move uh, but this is Probably the most common move that you will come up against, uh, blocking the bishop or blocking the pin on the queen and getting ready to castle short. So we push, uh, changing it into the version of the advanced variation uh, because, you know, whenever you see this pawn structure in the Karo Khan, this is kind of what you want. You pop your knight out and, you know, you're living happy and dandy. And th that's what we'll get. Everything's going quite smooth at the minute. Very unusual move, probably should have striked in the center as the computer said, or just, you I mean, can't really develop another piece, you would get pushed, or well, you would get taken. To if he did develop here, or well, he can't, so let's go back, I'll show you. This is what I would have done. If he develops, we take, take, and you push. Uh, defended, but the computer doesn't like that, because the computer sees bishop c6, which is just taken. So it is a mistake, and instead we should have taken the pawn in the center. But anyway, that's not what happens. What happens is, we'll switch back over here to the review. We capture that pawn. This is a move I don't really understand. I thought he would have attacked our bishop with one of the pawns, but he doesn't. And we go for this very common uh, knight move to get our knight into the center, looking into the opponent's half of the board. Uh, here again, I need to remember to do this once a light. No, dark square bishop moves, bring the queen out, threaten here, uh, and you know, just get it off the starting square. But he starts chasing down our bishop, we start retreating. We play a5 in order to stop him from uh, going even further and attacking. Uh, it's a good move, nothing too shabby. Um, here, computer does prefer us to take. He should have taken in this position. Um, <clears throat> but we drop back here I did look at this line the computer want to take take and then we take in the center with bringing our queen up here defending the pieces uh, which yeah is okay but instead he re-attacks our dark square bishop it's currently only defended by the queen I'm like nah we'll just trade it off even though most of our pawns are on light squares it's not a huge majority we still have the light square bishop we can swap the pawns around, uh, but you can't pick up your bishop and put it from light to dark squares, unfortunately. So we jump in the center, attacking his queen. I really did think that we would have had more here of an attack, but we don't. After the queen moves, I do make a blunder, but he doesn't really capitalize on it. He gets this great move, um, but then we just give him a check, which is an inaccuracy. But this is low elo chess. We both have a minute and 36. What's the chances of that? We both have the same amount of move, you know, time, 16 moves into the game. He captures, but then we just bring our other knight. Yeah, you got one knight. What are you going to do against another one? 
He immediately blunders, okay? But it's only a blunder if you capitalize on it. You can make as many blunders as you want in a game, as long as it doesn't hang your pieces. And it doesn't mean anything because, you know, if you don't capitalize, what are you gonna do? And we do capitalize. We play the great move and immediately play an inaccuracy after. Uh, here again, I'll show you the line, what the computer wanted. This I have looked at a wee bit. Discover check on the king from the queen in the corner. Uh, you start getting your queen in, you win the bishop, you win the rook, and then you castle, uh, protecting your rook in the corner. But you give him this check first, because otherwise he would have captured with check and won both your rooks. Um, so let's hide this, go back to what actually happened, and we get uh, another blunder. So that's two blunders in very, very short succession. Um, now here, you, if you can't see the elo bar, but in this position, it's a 3.9 advantage. In this position, it's a 4.2 advantage to me. Like, wh what? Then, another miss opportunity here. It wanted takes, and you go for the same move again. You know, you still had that same sequence uh, possible. Only you win an extra wee pawn out of it. Um, but he blunders again. That's three blunders now. Then... That's it. Just check me. Bet you didn't see that. Because I didn't see it. I was like, what the checkmate? How's that checkmate? Here, in this position, uh, okay, obviously the um, king can only move one square around itself. One of them squares is blocked by his own piece. The other square is blocked by our piece. Here is blocked by the queen sitting in the corner, undefended. By absolutely anything, undefended, unattacked. How? I didn't. I didn't see that. I just thought, okay, we'll give a check, and then we he moves somewhere, and yeah, but no, that is it. That's just checkmate. You've got the knight looking here, the bishop looking there, and the queen looking there from the corner making dinner. Like, what? What? That is ridiculous. And there's nothing that can block. The fact that it's an instant checkmate, there's nothing that can block, because you can't block the bishop's actual check um, with anything. But say, for example, you didn't need to, you, you can block the queen, but then it just gets taken, then you take again. Uh, well, you can't because you lose your queen. But uh, I don't know. I honestly, I was like, what? How's this checkmate? The king's in the corner, he has two points of uh, material advantage. Um, he has a whole other piece on the board than us, but they're useless. His rook is under attack. In this position, you could have just went and taken the rook, and you would have missed checkmate. Um, but instead, I was like, okay, we'll save our bishop, because it's under attack. If we take his rook, he takes our bishop, then we're just down another piece. Uh, we're just down one piece again. So we'll just take, and then we'll give him a check, save it, and then we'll take. Yeah, I didn't even see that that was checkmate. I, I couldn't believe it. But that's not even the best thing. These games were played on the same day. And oh my... And it was actually just after the last recording session. Oh my god. Here we go. This is a 90% accuracy in bullet. Two minutes and one second time control. Oh. Uh, and the annoying thing. We didn't even get the brilliant move. I have not had a brilliant move in ages. Our opponent gets the brilliant move. Oh, but let's get into it. So, it's a Slav defense. Y yeah, I just want to defend this pawn in the center. Uh, text, text. This is all book move up until here. This is all book move up, well, up until that last move. Um, we've only won, and this is a crazy stat, for us to get 90% accuracy with this opening that we've only won 29% of the time with. We've played it 17 times, won 5, drawn 1, lost 11. So the Slav defence is not for me. It is, it's not my opening by any means. Um, I do need to find a proper opening or something I'm comfortable and enjoy uh, against D4. But anyway... 
We continue. Developing pieces as normal. I want to trade off the bishop as soon as possible. Was that actually the best move in the position? It was. Uh, to trade off the dark square bishops. Um, now he is compensating because he has his pawns on dark squares for the trade that he made. Uh, so he starts bringing out his light square bishop. He should have taken in this position and traded it off. But obviously does not want to do that. He attacks our knight in the centre. We take. He takes, we give, not a check, we're just giving threats. Now, here's the threat, but what one is the actual threat? This is the actual threat, because if we capture the pawn on d4, we just get taken back. We could then, you know, say we had an extra move, it would be take, 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 then again threatening this. But he defends, we take in the centre, he takes, we take back, attacking his rook, but again, it's a fake threat because we can't capture it, we just lose our queen. Here I can see that his queen, no, his bishop is pinned to his queen, so we put pressure on it. And like, look at that, it's an inaccuracy. Imagine if I played this rook move, what the accuracy would have been. Like, it's so, it's so crazy. And here, knight f6 check hi hi well i do understand how because i can't take because then if i take i'll lose my queen you want to see how take check take take and he would have got two brilliant moves if i done that and i did see that i was like we can't do that because this is a discovered attack on the queen i did see that myself so we move over well that's what we've done we'll jump back to the review we moved over, he went for it anyway, which is completely wrong, because now we just take the queen, again, it's only a blunder if you capitalise on it, if you find the great move after the blunder, uh, and that's exactly what we do. We take, he takes back in the centre, then we take the knight, uh, we're just up, we're just up a piece, uh, very, very shortly. We're just developing as normal, uh, kind of pushing the pawns. I did realise that we'll have a big threat possible here. Luckily, the knight is protecting uh, this infiltration of the rook. But I realised that it, it's looking a bit dangerous. So I was like, how can we get our king out of this position? Our pawns are blocking us off. We can't move them. I'm going to need to move the rook. That's what we do. We move the rook. We make a loft for our king. We attack his bishop. He, no, he doesn't take, he moves his rook, going for this, just blindsided, just going for it, we take, he attacks, we just start infiltrating, he gives us a petty check, we could have came back and blocked, defended by the pawn, um, and yeah, he, he just starts to trade down, and we have two pieces for a rook, and he resigns with, well, he did have time left there, he had, well, he had 30 seconds, apparently. There's no way he spent 30 seconds on that move. But oh my god, it, it was nuts. We got a 9, the 1300 rating in bullet. In bullet. That's near double, or just less than double our rating. I, I was like, what? And I understand, you know, if you're having 90% um, accuracy for a very, very short game, 11 move game, and you end up getting a wee trick and getting a checkmate, fine, yeah, it's understandable, but how can you explain 90% in bullet in a 29 move game? I, I, I can't, I don't know what took over me, I don't know how I done it, I will never do it again, that's a promise, Um, but yeah, it was, it was, I've, like, let's see, we'll have a look, 90%, and he got 80, he had the brilliant move, we had one great move, capitalising on his blunder, he had one blunder, so we had one great move, he made more best moves, one less excellent, a lot less good moves, and he played one more book move, and um, the game definitely, I could have swayed anyway. With one wrong move on my part and my position just would have crumbled. Um, but yeah, I, uh, it was it was bananas. Uh, that was, this does not look like a 90% accuracy Slav defence.
like, wah! Uh, it, like, it's just the fact we get a brilliant move played against us. This tactic was unreal. It really was. The fact that he seen this was crazy. I don't know if he actually did. Or if it was just unintentional. Well, he had to have to sacrifice his knight like that. Jumps his knight in. Uh, if we take, we lose the queen with a discovered attack. But he seen this discovered attack three moves ahead. He was like, oh, oh I, I can maybe get a discovered attack here if I can get my bishop here. But my knight's in the way. What can I do? I can sacrifice the knight. And, you know, a lot of people would have just taken it. Well, lucky enough, i seen it. Very, our time control is going quite well. We're spending, well, if we get two second bonus, we're spending about three, four seconds on each move, which is good because I want to kind of take that into the blitz and take that into the rapid, uh, the quick thinking and the accuracy, which is the biggest part. But, oh, my God, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't. I reviewed that game and I was like, what? Where's my brilliant move? I don't have it. I don't have it. But yeah, if you have ever seen 90% accuracy, but the opponent is the one that gets a brilliant move and not you, or the, the person, whoever you watched or seen it, please give me that game. Because I can't. I, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. But anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for watching. Sorry for the wee later upload. It's not massively different. But thank you for tuning in. Um, if you're watching this on the day it came out, I will uh, likely be live streaming tonight. Uh, now, this would be... Doo -doo -doo, see what time. I don't necessarily have a schedule. The link will be in the description. Um, it is currently coming up to quarter past three. We will say... I will stream at about, probably about three hours, so about 6, 6 p.m. Uh, in UK time. Uh, I don't know what that is across America, which is where most of my audience is. And again, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for all of the um, criticism. Well, it's not really that. All of the suggestions and everything to try and make this channel better make it pg friendly i don't know if your name is rutch or rock because it's r-u-c-h i don't know how you pronounce it r-u-c-h i'm just gonna call you it i don't even know what i'm gonna call you uh, but anyway i want to say a big shout out to you man thank you so much for commenting on all the videos and supporting it and um <clears throat> it's not even just yourself <clears throat> Excuse me, oh my god, what is happening? I do think I'm getting ill. Everyone in my work is getting bloody sick and it's it's atrocious. Uh yeah, so I wanna say a big thank you to I don't know how how you say your name. I really I don't have a clue. And also uh Chess with Brandon. Thank you so much man. Uh thank you guys for commenting and liking just watching the video. Very much appreciate it. That's a wee shout out for you. And uh, yeah, I'll be streaming. It, it is likely on kick. Main reason uh, I get to play a bit of copyrighted music. You know, just enjoy. Get, come give me your song suggestions. May even get a game. Uh, make a video out of it. Don't know. Uh, but yeah, think if you are still watching this part of the video, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, and yeah, have a good rest of your day. And hopefully see you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Bye.